Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is below the ground, above the ground, gardens. So I'm going to come over here on the left hand side and I'm going to take three fingers and right above put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across from left to the right hand side of my paper and stop. I come all the way back over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line up connect and next to that I put another dot and a wavy 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 line connect and I'm going to put one more dot up top draw a wavy wavy line and connect inside each space I'm just going to put some dots they can be any amount you like and now I'm going to connect everything so starting here at the bottom I just draw two wavy lines connect and then I come over here and I draw a wavy wavy line up connect and I'm going to draw another wavy line up connect and right here I'm going to draw another wavy line connect connect okay now I come right where I stopped up here on the top part and I'm going to draw a big curve line out in up down out in down connect um, I starting on the left I draw a curve line down curve line up connect come on top curve line connect curve line connect we're adding all of these little curve line connect one on top curve line connect over here on the right curve line connect one right here curve line connect inside each one I draw a little straight line and then one two little straight line one two little straight line one two straight line one two straight line one two straight line one two and straight line one two what did we just draw these are potatoes P O T A T O E S Below the ground are the potatoes growing. Above the ground are the stalks and the leaves. Okay, let's come to the next one. I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line. Come back to the dot on the left. And I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line down. Slightly wavy line up. Connect teeny tiny I'm just going to draw another curve line across and then I'm going to put curve line one two three four five six this is what's below the ground now above the ground I draw straight line up curve line out zigzag 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 straight line up zigzag zigzag straight curve line down out zigzag zigzag one more little curve line out zigzag zigzag and now curve line connect what is growing below the ground it's a carrot C A R R O T carrot now I go next to my carrot and below the ground I'm going to draw a slightly curved line out in on the left come back up to this line 
slightly curve line out, in, connect, and then I'm going to go wavy line, wavy line, two, three, four, and now I come back up and above the ground I draw a slightly curved line up, curved line down, curved line up, curved line down. If you can fit one more little curved line up, down, connect. Now I'm going to put one, two, three, four slightly curved lines and this is garlic. G A R L I C. Okay, now I come over here next to my garlic and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line in. Right here at the bottom, I connect. But I'm going to put a little wavy line down, wavy line up, connect, and I'm just going to put some little curved lines on the bottom part, some dots on the inside part. Now I draw a wavy, wavy line up to that line on the left, and a wavy, wavy line up on the right. Come right where we stop wavy line up on the left, wavy line up on the right. Now I'm going to continue those wavy lines, but I'm going to make them bigger. Wavy, wavy line up, wavy, wavy line down, connect. Wavy, wavy line up, big, 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 wavy, wavy line down, connect. One more if you have room, wavy, wavy line up, wavy wavy line down connect inside slightly curved line okay now right next to that oops I'm sorry that's a beat B E E T okay right next to that straight line down little curved line on the left straight line down little curved line on the right. Little tiny straight lines at the bottom. Now above we're going to draw a big curved line but we're going to square it at the end. Bring it down. Big curved line. Straight it out. Bring it down. One more if you have room. And connect. Come down to the bottom and draw some little curved lines and this is an onion. O-N-I-O-N. Okay? So, this is what's going on below the ground, but look what's going on above the ground. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, it is always interesting to see what is growing underneath the ground. So my potatoes, I'm just going to make these brown. And my little connectors, these are the roots, I'm going to make these orange. So this is what's going below the ground. But then all of a sudden you come above the ground and you have all this greenery. So I'm going to do light to dark. I'm going to put a little bit of light green on my big part. And I'm going to take my dark green and fill that in over it, leaving a little bit of space so you can still see the light green. And then I'm going to do all of my leaves dark green. Okay? Next, I'm going to do my carrot. That's going to be orange, which I'm sure you all figured out. But I'm going to take a little bit of my brown, and I'm going to go on the tippy top right here, in these little straight lines to give it a little bit of color and then I'm going to make the top part light green and that's what's interesting about walking through a garden you see all the greenery on top you have no idea what's going on down below okay next is my garlic 
And those are basically white, but I'm just going to use a little bit of brown just to bring out the light, the uh, lines a little bit. And I'm just going to use a little bit of light green on my stalks or my leaves. Okay? Next is a beet. So we're going to make this red. And we're going to do the little connectors, the roots. These are going to be red. But once you get up to the leaves, again, I'm going to do some light green leaves. And then I'm going to take my dark green and I'm going to draw some straight lines and redraw that main line in the middle. Okay? And then color this green. My last one is my onion. I'm going to leave this white, leave it alone, but I'm going to come in and just put some dark green lines on the leaves up above. Stalks. Okay? Now, because I want this <clears throat> to for sure look like it's underground, I'm lightly going to take. Now, don't go over your letters because then you can't see what you just wrote but go through and make your ground brown lightly so that you know all of these vegetables are growing underground which is very interesting like I said you walk through a garden you see all that greenery you have no idea what is going on underneath. This gives you an idea of what is going on underneath. Then once you've done that you can take a blue or a blue green like I did and you color in your background sky because this is outside. So you want everybody to know it's almost as if you can see that what's going down below is different than what's going on above. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my below, above, below, above garden all colored in ready for harvest. Okay, bye bye.